I'm going to give you my quick three-minute summary overview of this game, Pompero from Ape Games, which is currently finishing on crowdfunding. So, what do you need to know about Pompero? Let's talk. Three actions, seven rounds, creating energy farms, moving bulldozers, creating electrical towers, gathering currency the most that you can by the end of the game. Player interaction, play a card, get an action. Play a card, get an action. Action tableau system that allows you to take one of either options on your cards, but you also have the ability to recall your cards. You can only recall one per round from the rightmost row. So right there, it already offers you interesting, dynamic, Euro-style choices. Get contracts with power generated, gather more income. Get more income, unlock more features, get more types of contracts, rinse and repeat through those 21 different turns. Three separate areas which we're going to try to Don Quixote a windmill, and you're going to be trying to use other people's electrical towers, bulldozers, and resources in order to do it. And that's where the interaction comes in, whether or not you want to be paying the bank for use of the resources that you have out there yourself, or for other people's resources out there that then you pay them. Why this game is really nice, I love card action tableau systems where you're constantly choosing the order in which they're being played, the interactions that are gonna be having along the way, and even when you're playing them, multivariable options, creating your own sort of asymmetry as you go along. Problem that you run into is there's so many options, there's so many interactions, there's so many nuances to choosing which and where and in what order that sometimes it leads to a little bit too much of this, especially if you're not used to this. This is definitely much, much, much heavier than most of the stuff I normally play. So therein lies the dilemma. And if you're like me and you just like playing these style of games to see what you can do, uh, the balance between uh, such severe order optimization and just playing it to see what strategy you can explore. It's just sort of a mishmash of stuff. And when you've got people so concerned about, I have to action optimize in such an nth degree, I feel like they're sometimes losing the point of it's fun to play the games, not just, okay, they're clearly one strategy that I see off the top of my head based on three reviews of other people playing it. It sort of takes away what people love about it at the same time. You move forward on the income track, you move forward on the time track. And there are gonna be two different scoring areas that you have. One is going to be when the last person crosses one barrier, the last end game scoring is when the last person crosses the finish line, which again is a little bit divisive because it's a sort of a race to get filled contracts, but it's also time management in terms of those actions because that's going to affect when you move your time piece forward. And so how do you like the fact that, you know, some people are going to be at different progresses or stages of this game uh, as you're going along? That's a little bit divisive sometimes. Me personally, I have no issue with it, but I can see where people would not always be a fan. And again, you're going to argue with this game, how much interaction do you want of your heavy euros, right? People are going to argue that there's not a lot of interaction, but if you can utilize someone else's bulldozer or electrical tower in order to make your own stuff, where they position those and when they position those and how you interact with those and at what point you interact with those, because you can also potentially move them, that's really a significant amount of interaction for a heavier euro, in my opinion, which is as a non-heavy euro gamer player, right? So take that for what you will. This is one of those games where the individual actions are not significantly difficult, right? Like the individual actions themselves are relatively straightforward, but the complexity comes in of the interwoven locking nature of so many of them where you're literally going to be opening avenues and doors to doing one thing and going down a path of the tech tree essential that you have available to you while also simultaneously closing off others that you may have preferred to go down depending on some of the end game bonuses or the objectives that you may obtain along the way so that's where the uh really the process of optimization comes in now that's not to say that you start out with uh, the same set of cards that you end with because you're going to be having interacting cards that are going to be added to your hand that you're going to be able to choose from a la sort of a little bit of concordia there as well and i really like that aspect of things i love the tactical nature of of the use of those cards because you're not just getting a long-term strategy. You have some individual nuance on a turn-by-turn -turn basis. So what do I think of Pampero overall? This game's way too heavy for me. This game is one of those games where I like it in theory, but I am such a poor player at this game that I will routinely get like lapped in terms of scoring when there's an actual score mechanism of keeping track on the board, right? So like everyone else will end up with like two or three times my amount of scoring points, but it's because I'm just not built that way at the same time it makes it relatively entertaining because i get to try stuff and see what happens and see how things click and see what the mechanisms look like in terms of the interlocking uh components and actions and just how things can kind of be mixed and matched as a whole 
So if you're looking for something like that, again, with the really the Tableau hand management sort of style, this is going to give you more of that. If you're looking for something that's as tight resource wise as possible, this isn't going to be your exact thing because it's like a little bit of the others in terms of you can get a loan, which is going to take $30 out of your end game scoring, but it's not going to be something where resources are so scarce that one wrong move is going to completely make it or break it. And if you're looking for something like that, you're probably better off elsewhere. And again, if you're probably like me, this isn't the intro game for heavy euros that you're looking for from that side of things either. If that sounds interesting to you, let me know. If you have any thoughts or questions, let me know as well. Their campaign is ending shortly. And um, thank you for Ape Games for even bothering to send this to me, uh, especially when it's not at my forte. But there you go. That is Pompero. Check it out.